What up, what up? Welcome to Mr. Brown's class, where there's no whining and no complaining. Today we're going to look at the point slope formula. And for my daughter, uh, who came home from high school one time and said that I'd never taught this. All right, this is a reminder that in lesson 52 of class, we did go over this point slope formula and worked on it for a long time. So thanks, Mia. So... We're first going to start by graphing a line that has a slope of 3 and goes through 2, 3. Well, the first thing that we ever have to do is know uh, where one of the point is. We can't just start the slope without knowing one of the points that it goes through. So we're going to go to 2, 3, so right 2, up 3. And then we're going to, uh, it has a slope of three. So we're going to go up one, two, three. And remember that it's over one, right? So remember that this is over one, right? And this, and this is what our graph would look like. And it goes on for infinity, okay? So first find the point that it goes through. And then from there, use the slope. Here, right, we have graph a line that has a slope of 2 and goes through 3, 4. So let's find 3, 4. So right 3, up 4. And from there, we're going to go up 2 over 1. And this is our line. Now remember that we can also go down to left 1. And if I drew a straight line, it would be on that, down to left one. And it would still be on that same line if I could draw a straight line. All right, so those are pretty easy. So that was a refresher on graphing. Okay, so then let's talk about point slope. All right, point slope formula. Now, we've looked at slope-intercept, which is y equals mx plus b. But we need to know a lot of stuff. We need to know the slope, and we need to know the y-intercept for this. But if they just give us two points, we can figure out uh, the equation. And this is y minus y1. Not That's not to the power of 1. It's just uh, we're going to put a number in there, and you'll see that in a second, equals... Right, the slope, right, x minus x1. Right, and after we practice a lot, again, you'll remember this uh, pretty easily. Okay, so let's do an equation uh, where we write an equation with a slope of 3. All right, and then it goes through, goes through two, four. Okay, now this is how this works. Okay, now the slope goes in for the M. Okay, so we have Y equals Y minus Y1 slope. So we're going to put in... 3 for the slope, okay, we're going to have x minus this number, 2, and y minus 4, the y, okay? Now, if they just say leave it in point slope form, we can do that, or we can turn it into, uh, into the y equals mx plus b, and then graph it. So let's write this down here. Y minus 4 equals 3X minus 2. Okay, so let's start solving for Y. So we're going to use the distributive property, 3X minus 6. All right, we add 4 to get the Y by itself. 
All right, so y equals 3x minus 2. All right, we solve for y. Now here's our slope. Here's our y-intercept. So if we wanted to go graph this, okay, we go to negative 2, put a dot. We're going to go up 1, 2, 3, over 1, and that's our graph, All right? So let's do a lot more here. And so, um, let's do, you do this one on your own. So it goes through, it has a slope of negative three. And it goes through two comma negative seven. All right, so put it into this. So y minus the y, so negative seven equals the slope, negative three, and y minus two. Now notice, since this is a negative seven, it's gonna end up being y plus seven, right? Because minus a negative equals a uh, plus, negative three x minus two, right? Now, that doesn't help us a lot. So we want to turn it into slope intercept, right? So we're going to use the distributive property. So negative three times X is negative three X. Negative three times negative two is a positive six. Right, get y by itself by subtracting the seven. And we have y equals negative three x minus one. Now, we can easily graph this. We go to negative one, that's our y-intercept. And from there, we're gonna use our slope. So down three, since it's negative, all right, and positive one. Remember, only one of the numbers is negative. So this is over a positive one, right? So that is our graph, okay? Okay, now we can even do this. If they just give us two points, all right, we can figure out an equation from just these two points using our equation. Again, let's write it up here, y minus y1 equals the slope x minus x1. Now, first thing that you have to do is find the slope. So find slope. Now, if you remember, the slope is y minus y over x minus x, right? So we're gonna take negative three minus five, okay, the y's, and we have to go in the same order that we did, one minus four. So this ends up being adding a negative, so negative eight over negative three, so it's eight thirds. Not a pretty um, slope, okay? So we found our slope. Now, let's put it into this. So eight thirds goes here, all right? Uh, and we can pick either of these. So these are both positive, so let's go with this one. Y minus five equals X minus four. Now you're gonna get the same answer no matter what. Okay, so this is gonna be really ugly, but so we multiply eight thirds times X, so eight thirds X, we multiply eight thirds times negative four, so negative 32 over three, okay, negative 32 over three. And then here we have Y minus five. Now let's go ahead and turn this into a mixed number. Never turn the slope into a mixed number. Keep the slope as an improper fraction. So this would be what? 10 and 2 thirds. 
Okay, so we're going to add the 5. All right, so we end up with y equals 8 thirds x minus 5 and 2 thirds. All right, and that's our answer. And it doesn't matter if I would have chosen to put in this uh, for the, the equation. If I would have put in, if I would have done it this way, y minus y minus negative 3 equals 8 thirds over x minus 1. I still would have ended up with the same answer down here. Okay, so hopefully this helps. All right, we'll work more on it in class. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe and like below. And remember to be more awesome.